Um, no. Law says kidnapping is illegal. Yes. It's Rachel and Rhea and we're the Gala sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we're 15 months apart or less. Oh my god, MCK is not here for this video. For now. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Patience. 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 So we have to talk about Shelly Miscavige again today. But before we get started, please make sure you are following us on the social media scrolling below. As well as link in the description box down below where you will also find MCK's channel. Uh, we also have a website where we have three different blogs, bios, and we have an online store. Check it out at www.thegalasisters.com. And if you'd like to stay involved and informed for free, then click that big old subscribe button. And with that, we'll, we'll take, take a look. look at the update on Shelly Miscavige. A few weeks or so ago, we put out this video about Shelly Miscavige. So the question of the years has been, where is Shelly Miscavige? Okay, well, first of all, let's remind you all who she is. Shelly Miscavige is David Miscavige's wife. David Miscavige is the head of Scientology. Um, as Aaron Smith Levin said, um, you're lucky to get to work in the same place as your wife, let alone live with your wife when you are a Scientologist. Yeah. And of course, the Sea Org, which is the highest ranking part of the Scientology, not unlike a 33rd degree Mason, which is an honorary degree given to Masons. Please do not confuse Scientology <laughs> with Masonry. Those are not the same thing, but they are both fraternal organizations. So... We know that there's shit going down with David Miscavige because he's basically been eluding the authorities because he does not want to get served. He's like, no, please don't serve me. I swear I didn't do any human trafficking. I'm going to run. So he's on the lam right now, folks. I know that Aaron Smith Levin said that he had been spotted and found. So... He he's he does not want to deal with this, and we're gonna make a whole video about the human trafficking and Scientology. So don't worry, we will go into that because this needs to be addressed. This is sick. It's disgusting. This entire organization, cult, that's what it is, is fucked up. And they think I can do whatever I want. I'm above the law. Um, you know, I can traffic people. I can kidnap people. Um, we can keep people here. We can do whatever the fuck we want. Um, no, law says kidnapping is illegal. Yes. I think the biggest question in everyone's mind is, has Shelly Miscavige being, being, been kidnapped and held against her will at this current time? We do not know. Allegedly, according to Aaron Smith Levin, she was spotted at a gas station and she was by herself. She asked for help. And Aaron Smith Levin said something along the lines of, well, the police are uh, in league with the Scientologists. Okay. Can we turn it apart for just a second? Do you have any concrete evidence that that is true? Mm -hmm. Is it 100% true? Because people also say that all police officers are Masons, and that's not true either. Yeah, and that's the thing that we have to go on here, is that the police can only do so much in a situation like this unless the victim explicitly explains and says, I am a victim. There's not really a whole lot they can do. Not really. If she was, you know, if this was a child, it might be a little bit different. But, I mean, look at the story of Colleen, the girl in the wooden box. I mean, just, just for just a second, like, go back to that and just think, okay, um, yes, that's a thing that happened. Um, eventually, the couple who did it was charged. But she thought that if she told anybody, she thought that her parents would be murdered. Yeah. I mean, that's just something to think about. I'm not saying we should do a whole video on I'm just saying think about it for just a minute. Aaron Smith Levin also said that someone close to um, Shelly Miscavige reached out to him and he said he used the pseudonym Rachel. Oh, I no, don't think it wasn't no. me. I don't know her. I'm also not in California, but I'm in You're Minnesota. Also not a either, honey. No. It's a joke. I call her honey like as a joke. Like, <laughs> I'm being pathetic calling her a joke, making a joke. But. They said that she looked disheveled. 
and she was at the grocery store and with guards and shit like that. And again, is any of this true? Did you verify any of this? I want to know if it's 100% true. Aaron said that he cannot verify whether it's 100% true. He believes it to be true and we adore Aaron. He's, he's a great friend. And he's an extremely intelligent. He's got a great channel. You, you all should go subscribe to it. We'll link it down below. Um, but again, he was honest that he doesn't know for sure. And no. basically, we'd like to join him and, and help and say, if you have seen her and you know what's going on, say something. Yes, even let us know and we'll talk to Aaron smith Levin about it for you. We don't mm. mind, do we? Please speak up. And I don't know the woman, but I join the millions of people who are extremely worried about her. Yes, I mean, do we know that she's the trouble? No, we don't actually know that. I mean, like again, these are all alleged. Alleged means that someone claimed it happened. Like if someone claims that the moon is made of green cheese, that doesn't make it true. They're just alleging it's true. Yeah. Or if the earth is flat, they're just alleged. And we know that now, but I'm talking about, you know, back in the, you know, biblical days. Mm -hmm. People also allege the Bible is true. Again, do we know it's true? <laughs> Not 100%. No. No. Just, no, we don't. Just making a statement. Sorry, the kitten. Yes, guys. We got a kitten. He's, He's very sweet. You guys want to meet him? Let me go grab him. This is Prince Damien the Two, the second. His favorite out of everybody who is here is Daddy MCK, but he loves all of us. He's not even a year at year old yet, and he's so cute. We'll do a whole video on him, but we're waiting for MCK to return, and he's gonna help us. Anyways. Back to that. I guess this is a good point in time to say that we have some affiliate links in our description yeah. box. One for Buzzsprout if you want to start your own podcast. Uh, one for Fetch Rewards, which if you want to, you know, get a little money, you scan your receipt and they give you points. That's 100% free to use. Mm -hmm. And also, we also have another affiliate link, which is called Upside. So Upside, you download it 100% for free, then you, you know, waltz over, you drive over to the gas station or the grocery store, and you make your purchases, and you do a little thing like you check in, and then you get cash back on it. Free! So there's no reason not to be using it. So use our referral link so that we get a little something, and when you sign up, you'll get something too. I think you get like $5 on mm -hmm. your first one extra, and we've already made a good chunk of change from it, so it's definitely worth your while. Of course, you can also use MCK's codes as well. We'll link those down below because, you know, that's what, what are we to him? Friends do, I guess. So you can also use uh, his codes because I think he would really appreciate Best it. Best friends. He would actually very much appreciate it. And I don't know what they are and I don't remember what they are, but we can still link them down below. Mm -hmm. And we're here to help him. He's here to help us just understand that we are still in a period of transition right now. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. Shelley Miscavige and the Church of Scientology. Rachel, I have a question. Do you think this is the beginning of the end of the, the, the church, the Church of Scientology? Yeah, according to what I've been reading, and I know we're not big fans of Tony Ortega and Aaron Smith Levin and other people who have left, we, we try to watch as much as we can. It's not been a good year for them. No. And with all the lawsuits and then the criminal investigations, too, it's just not looking good. Let's just address something a little bit here, though. Tony Ortega should be ashamed of himself. Yeah, he's been a little bit rude over on his Substack and on his YouTube channel. He's been a little bit disrespectful. And he's like, well, I don't like people using my work. Okay, well, if you don't people using your work, then, honey, I hate to tell you this, but you're not in the correct industry. He also took a jab at the satanic church comparing the church of scientology to the satanic church okay well do you want to know a secret about the satanic church hey rage is the church of is the satanic church an atheist church yeah it's not really a church it's like a it's like a joke yeah it's like a philosophy it's like a middle fingers up like a mockery almost it's yeah. not a cult and we're not members because we're not atheists but we're friends with the LaVeys. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, he kicked them when they lost Stanton. Something we'll go into later. 
who is a grandson of the amazing Anton LaVey, who has a wonderful philosophy on life. And if you have an open mind, I suggest it. And I'm going to be honest with you about this. And his words were despicable. We should never pick on people. And people of all religions or ways of thinking are still people and have feelings. And how Tony Ortega approaches people is hostile and rude and disrespectful. And he should really be ashamed of himself. And I don't know Tony Ortega, but if I was him, this is what I would do. I'd take a big, long look at what I'm doing, and I'd change my ways. And we'll do a whole video on Tony Ortega and the horrible things that he has done. Yeah, there's a lot more that I'm not going to go into right now because... You can go see some of it on Aaron Smith Levin's channel because he's had some issues with him too. And I know other people that he's rubbed off in the wrong way. And then this whole Danny Masterson thing is he's smack dab in the middle of it. And it's just, he's meddlesome. Yeah. And that's the thing. When we're dealing with a thing like the Shelly Miscavige situation, we need to be proactive, but we need to not be reactive. Proactive means you are taking a stand. Reactive says you're, hey, come with me now. Come on. You know? Yes. We don't want to do that either. We don't want to scare her. Yeah. Or anyone. Exactly. Going to the Shelly Miscavige thing, it's you. We don't know that she wants to leave. I know. I have no evidence that's true. People's hearts are in the right places. And okay, so we were both married to jerks. Mm hmm. We're DV survivors. And. Especially with her, you know, I had people coming to me all the time, including a nanny for Emma once who was very concerned. And I just had to tell them, like, she doesn't want to leave. Or when people were concerned about my situation, because it seemed like my ex-husband didn't care about me at all. And people noticed, including some of his co-workers. Yes. And it was like, I just told him, I want to stay. It's my decision. I don't feel like I'm being treated that way. And... It was our decision. And when you're dealing with someone who, I mean, especially DV survivors, but anyone really, it's really important to give people choices. I mean, even with Emma, we ask her, do you want to wear the blue shirt or the pink shirt? Don't make Shelly feel like, you have to leave. No, it's don't. not good for you. That would be so cruel, so mean, so disgusting, and so awful. And it's something that we cannot unfortunately get behind you have to be careful because we don't know everything about what she's been through we don't know if she's been sick we don't know if she has can we cancer we just don't know yeah but the sightings of her are positive and i cannot tell you the amount of people on reddit who are like well it's too bad we'll never find her body she's not dead i never thought she was did you no i did not Really? No. And, you know, if she watches this, I don't think she will, but I guess you just never know because sometimes impossible things happen. Or if somebody who knows her is watching mm -hmm. this, please be careful. Mm -hmm. um, because the last thing you want is you want someone to tell her, you know, that she's in danger and she's going to go underground and she's going to hide even more. Yes. Yeah. We don't know the whole situation. And this is something that this channel is going to keep you guys updated on. Because yeah. we have to. And we want to. Because it doesn't sit right with us. No. And we all should do our part. And I know that lots of people go missing for 15 years at a time. Elizabeth and nobody smart. cares. Well, Elizabeth Smart, everybody cared about. I mean, think about what happened with her. Yeah, but people go. And there are people in Scientology that no one has heard. Other people who no one has heard of for 15 years, and nobody talks about it. No. It's just because she's one of the most famous ones because she's married to David. I think her father was also, like, part of the church after L. Ron Hubbard died. I guess we don't even know if they're even still married. They might not be. Are they? I don't know. She Walk least, around and find out. <laughs> at least she, they were married. <laughs> okay, if anybody knows where I got that from, please put it down below. <laughs> <laughs> And also, we'd like to take this time to say that YouTube is our first love, but we are doing other things now. And there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that you guys are never going to know about. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them do concern MCK. Yep. We 
needed a bigger source of income due to some rearrangement of finances. So we pick something up on the side. So if we don't respond to your messages or right away, or we feel like we're not as attentive and around as much, it's because we're we're out hustling, we're making some money. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're safe, we're happy, yeah, you know, we're, we're taking fine. care of ourselves. We'll do our best to get back to every single one of you because we still love you guys so much and we're not gonna go anywhere. No, but for right now, we are going to just say that if you guys know what it is, don't say anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Shelly, we hope you're okay. If you're not, you can reach out to us. We're safe. We're safe. Um, you can reach out to Aaron Smith Lemon, and there are mm -hmm. others too mm -hmm. that care about you. Um, mm -hmm. If you're happy and you feel safe, then we wish you well. So we are going to end the video here as always. Thank you so much for listening and please make sure the comments down below are not a bunch of you have mentioned this, but then don't just give that video a big thumbs up to indicate that you liked it. Smash that subscribe button down below. We are stuck and it's not completely our fault. There is a situation going on, another situation going on behind the scenes that's making it impossible for us to get subscribers. Watch the video at the end, watch it, watch it, watch it, even if you've already seen it, because you know you want to give that bell a big ring to indicate that you want to be updated whenever we go live or post a video. Generally, we post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As of now, we are not doing Sunday Night Lives. Of course, you can also find us over on Motley Crew King, which is MCK's channel, and I guess he also has going to start a second channel called Spittin' Facts with the D with the DMC family. We also have another YouTube channel entitled Adventure with the Gallo Fam. There's not any upload schedules for any of those, as far as I know. You have to talk to MCK about his channels. We also have a podcast that is going to start going out sometimes on Tuesdays entitled Gallo with the Gallo Sisters, a podcast on movies and TV. Of course, if our wonderful host was still here, which he will be soon wait and see. He would want you guys to know this. We also have a second podcast entitled The Gala Sisters Presents Mr. and Ms. Crazy Wrestling Family featuring Rachel, myself, your wonderful host, MCK, and many others. And we'd also like to take this time to say, Chris Bearclown, aka Mr. Wrestling Chris, you are not invited back. Fuck you. What I want to say to you, I can't say on YouTube. Nope. That all that goes out the Thursday before a wrestling pay per view. Yes, all of this information is in the description box below. There's so much in there. Make sure you're checking it out. We design merch. Go buy it if you want to. We do everything here. I mean, on top of our crazy lives outside of YouTube, we literally do all the editing. You know that takes hours and hours and hours of work. So if you appreciate that, go buy us a coffee. Because that's what you really should do, and don't do it if you can't. I understand times are difficult, but you can't. If You can just spare $3 and help us out if you really like our work, because we work really hard on this. But again, we're not going to fault you if you don't. We really won't. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and do that. Thank you so much for being loyal to us and going through this wild journey on YouTube and life with us. And as our family grows, watching. We just lost one of our cats to my little buddy, Date Prince Damien, you might have noticed that. So I'm not quite myself, but you know, we got another new little guy. So healing begins. We've lost a lot of pets in the last couple of years. So that's been rough. But yeah, we're so happy that MCK has been joining us. We love having him here and we can't wait for him to be back. Well. Permanently. Permanently. Right we'll talk to you again soon. Love and share. Bye. Bye. Thank you.